All right, hi guys, this is Justin back with uh, Engineer's Perspective. And today we'll be talking about the Nipex Cobra pliers. I've got the 125 millimeter, the 180, and the 250 right here. I've also got the Nipex 180 millimeter plier wrenches here. Um, this isn't gonna be a full review of these it's just going to be a little bit of a demonstration of the sizes of things you can work on with them and also just generally how well they work so we're going to start out at what is the maximum for pipe uh, for for all of these um, and that's so i've got a two inch abs fitting here and let's just start out with a demonstration on the plier wrenches and then we'll go into the cobras from there so here is just a cap with a square nut at the top. And this is just to show the, the limitations and the usability of these guys. So, you know, you're kind of just looking at the plier wrenches, you're like, ah, oh, you know, you feel like you can take on anything. And that doesn't look too big, but I'm maxed out on the plier wrenches right now. And it just barely fits on there. But here's the beauty of it is, uh, so I can get a lot of torque on it. And uh, with a normal crescent wrench, you'd have to squeeze to get the torque on there. But with something like this, even with smaller stuff, and I'll show you, is you just get it on there. And then once you get going, you can just tighten it right down. So easy as cake. But this two inch uh, square fitting here, is uh, the maximum for the plier wrenches. So let's go on to, so there's a difference between working with two inch pipe and two inch fittings, right? Cause the fittings are bigger than the pipe. So let's work on uh, this uh, thread to pipe adapter here to screw it in. So two inch pipe is the the maximum limit really for both of these and that's why i prefer this one to this one for a couple reasons but when you get to the fittings you're really really pushing it so max on the cobras on a two inch fitting and when i try to get on there i just can't because it's not deep enough can't get quite on there so if you've got a nubbin which a lot of fittings do so I've got this hook at the top there as you can hook it on and this bottom one will dig and you can and you've just got those teeth digging in there and you can tighten it right up and the reverse as I attempt to hook onto that hook onto that same little nubbin See if I can get it. There you go. Because those teeth are biting into the fitting, even though it's just barely holding on. So that's the 180. 180 millimeters working on two inch fittings is it basically doesn't work, but if you get tricky with it, you can make it happen. So let's look what you gain for the 250s. And they cost the same, the 250s and 180s but you just get a lot more torque out of these, but you don't really get that much bigger fittings. So it's, once again, the nubbin is over here. So going straight on, if I dig in, I can get it to bite. So I'll, I'll get it tight here, so then I can one hand it, like I was showing you before. So you just get it to bite. And see, this is, like I was saying, the upper limit of these guys. So I'm not using the nubbin. Oh, God. It's tough. And like I was saying, is the 180s pretty much do what these do with less torque. Uh, unless, it depends. Unless you're talking about bolts. Bolts, that's a different story. But in pipe, it's the same. Let's see if I can get it to grab. There you go. So if you can get it to grab, you can do it. But if you can get it on that nubbin, you just get it hooked on there, the teeth will bite, and you can one hand it. Let's tighten it the same way. 
So I get it to bite on that nubbin. It's gotta be actually tight. Need some resistance. Okay, so onto the nubbin. And you can just one hand it around. Cause those teeth just bite in. And now let's take it off. And this just makes it so useful or usable is being able to one hand it like this once you get it bit in. But when you're relying on those teeth all the time, you really beat up the fittings. You see that? So you keep that in mind. So let's look at some. This is Schedule 80 one inch PVC. So a scheduling fitting with a Schedule 80 pipe right there. Let's look at those. So first we'll look at the pipe. So obviously the big guy can do that, you know, like cake, you know, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see if I can get it in there tight enough to one hand it like I was showing you. So same thing, that one handed operation, once you get it in there tight, or not one handed, but you know, you're not applying pressure both ways. So let's loosen it up with the 180s here. little bit bigger. Got to really tighten down the vise. But once again, if you can see I'm just really digging into it. Cuz you can you can be careful with these, but you'll probably muck stuff up more with these than you would a pipe wrench if you're being careful with it. All right, so now the real question is, these, the 125s, let's see what these babies can do. So grab on. One inch Schedule 80. <laughs> uh, I think I'm seated all the way, and then let's undo it. Oh, God. Might as well show doing this. Go as big as I can go here. So the a one inch fitting. There I'm grabbed on. Oh, these smokes. Oh, it's on there good. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that off. No, let's go up to the next biggest size. This is all rehearsed, 100%, no doubt. Not too big. Let's go right there. <sighs> Holy smokes. How did I get it on there so tight? Well, you might be seeing a limitation on it. Pop this loose. I don't think my vice will hold it. Yeah. But it certainly makes for a more stable platform when you've got the vice. So you can see how tight I got it with a 125. And then you saw me using these guys in opposite directions, huh? the usability of that. So let's look at how I marred these up. You can see how marred up that is. Same goes for this. So if you're a real professional and you're making sure it looks good, you can obviously make it look a lot better than this than me just fighting it like that. But if you're just you're just going, then it will tend to look 
like that. It'll get all hard up. So you decide whether or not you care. So this is a, a one inch to half inch bushing. It's one inch NPT. So first off, let's see if the ply wrenches are big enough. And they're just barely. But once again, you just, you just tighten it like that. And it's too big to really use that ratchet action that is so nice on this guy. But so I got it in there tight. And now let's try loosening it with these, but first, so do you see how it's unmarked from the plier wrenches? You see that? Now let's use the 180s. So sometimes you're gonna get it perfectly hooked. See how, there you go. How I've got each end of the hexagon into the little nooks of the of the cobras you only really need to get the top one as long as you got the teeth biting on the bottom but you're biting so let's loosen this up i might need to do what i did last time yep jeez louise So you can see I can tighten it and loosen it with different tools. So the 180 Cobras will do the same amount of uh, tightening and loosening that the plier wrenches do. It's just harder. And so even with this hooked perfectly on there like that, you can see the marring on it. So for the same amount of force, but in reverse, I get marks with the Cobras. But obviously the plier wrenches can't do a lot with the one inch. You can do some. It'll grip, so like, uh, I can turn it with my hand. So you can do some with this, but it's going to leak, so what's the point? So let's you do that. Obviously, this cannot grip that. It's not even in the same ballpark. This can't grip this, but these can. So that's, that was, we did one inch. This is a one inch fitting. <clears throat> Let's do it with the 125s. So you got a one inch fitting. So I'm just able to hook the top. I don't think it's gonna make it. So you see I'm hooking the top and the bottom is gonna try to dig into this part of the hexagon. <laughs> Tighten it up. I gotta hold it. Okay, so you saw how much force I was applying there. Now let's see if I can get it tighter with the 180s. Definitely can, it's a heck of a lot easier. And uh, you know the plier wrenches this this action in here gives you a lot more clamping force for how much you're putting in but the cobras don't do that but they make up for it twice in one that this hook makes it so you don't have to apply as much force from the top down because the hook kind of you know sets it in there versus the flat of a of a Wow, a channel lock, but it's got the teeth of a channel lock too. So the top helps you and then the teeth biting in the bottom make it so that once it's locked in, your grip strength doesn't matter anymore. So the Cobra makes up for not having this 10 times multiplying force action by the grippage of those teeth. So they're really important for how well these work. Okay, and then we've got a half inch plug here. So 
once again <clears throat> demonstrate with the plier wrenches. So here you can see this ratchet action of not having to come off all the way. Oops. getting to be too much for that PVC fitting. So I was able to tighten it on very tight with the 180s, see if I can get it off with the 125s. I got actually come in one, it looks like. So once again, I'm able to get both sides with the 125s, it's a half inch fitting. You could saw that I was able to do the, you know, the one inch but I didn't engage both sides of the, the jaw there. Okay, I think I've got to grab onto the inch again. I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah. So this is a case where I've tightened it down so much that the the plastic hex can't support that style of jaw. So where we're at with this fitting is I'm just gonna have to grab the threaded area, something that you could not do with this. So if your hex is all screwed up, which this one is, let's, let's do this. So I'm grabbing onto the threaded area. able to break it loose even though the hex head is totally trashed due to mishandling by me. Oh, this thing is jacked up. But I just want to show you the sticky situations these can get you out of. So you can even do one inch fittings with the 125s. I consider the three quarter inch tool. But it did do, yeah, this one inch fitting. Obviously, it'll do the one inch hex, but it won't do the these guys. And like, this is a bushing for a one inch. So if you had a true one inch threaded hex, it, it won't, this will be too small, right? So, but the bushing is smaller. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I had. Oh, nope, not quite. So last but not least, is, uh, I know I started with the two inch, but I forgot to show. This is a piece of a two inch ABS. Does it say on there somewhere? So two inch ABS. What's the wall thickness on this one? Says. Schedule 40, so if you know that off the top of your head, just look it up. So, See if I hit the camera when I do that. And I actually do have a pipe clamp. I never use. I don't work with pipe at home, personally. I guess I can do it. So if I'm doing that wrong, sorry. Let's back you up. Maybe even angle you down. All right. So this is the next thing I wanted to show is this is if you're in a pinch. So obviously the 125s, not gonna happen. So here's the 180s. That's as big as they go. So it is possible to dig in. I wish I could. This doesn't work very well. So the limit, as you saw with these fittings for this, is you really need that, that nubbin to grab onto with these guys. So you can't really get the two inch. I feel like I've done it before, but maybe not. You don't get much smaller than that. So let's try the 250s on straight two inch pipe. 
So there you go. See how I can dig into there? And you see how I don't need to hold on to it? Unless I throw my tools. But once you get dug into that, see how it bites in like that? So if you want to do two inch straight pipe, you're gonna need the 250s, but the 180s will get you out of a lot of trouble, especially up to inch and a half for sure with these. But you can, you can make these do things for two inch pipe but you really recommend going up to these. Okay, so that's me using the Cobras up to two inches. You saw it on two inch round fitting. I guess I didn't show it on the two inch square, but I don't, I don't know, is that interesting? Well, maybe it is. You can see how that's like that. What the heck, I got you here. I'm already 21 minutes, what the heck? I didn't think it'd be this long. So I mean, the thing is, is you've got the top hooked and the bottom piece is it pushes into those teeth because you're going that way. Because obviously these are directional, right? There's a right and a wrong way to, to tighten. So this is no biggie. It's actually faster and easier than the, than the plier wrenches. But once again, you see how it bites? You see that? So you have to be willing to put up with the bite if you, if you want to use these guys. Just out of my own curiosity, not going to happen. Maybe it will. So I'm coming at it from the square side, like that, on each end. Oh yeah, here it goes. So you never really want to grab things straight up square, as I'm just reminding myself here. With these guys so you can see I really took a chunk out of it that time but I started like that thinking that would work but what did work there you go was like that see how it's I got it in that nook that hook up there if you get that hooked and those bottom teeth engaged you can usually grip it grip it and rip it with Cobras so there you go because you, obviously you can do things smaller with ease, but that just kind of gives you an idea of the fittings that you can work with and the downsides of the Cobras versus the ply wrenches. So that's all. Thank you for watching. This was Justin. Have a good one. Bye.